Hello, this is Bill Forrest, art instructor, and this is the watercolor painting demonstration. Start by placing a couple drops of water into the paint colors that you're going to be using and gather up some magazines that you'll be cutting large, medium, and small pictures out of. Today you have the choice of making either a monochromatic color scheme, which is a single color with the addition of black and white, or an analogous color scheme. Here I've chosen cool analogous by using blue and green and then blending blue and green in the middle. Or you can create a complementary color scheme. And with this one, I've used the opposites on the color wheel that are blue and orange. The next step is to create the illusion of a horizon line. And what I'll do is use some clean water in my brush and I'm going to produce a wet on wet technique. So I will wet the paper first with water. And this is clean water, you only want to use clean water. And I'm going to come down about halfway to create the illusion of a horizon line. Once I have the paper wet, then I will pick up the paint and charge my bristles and start with the pure color at the top and gradate the color towards the horizon line. So I'm darker at the top and lighter at the horizon line. You then want to wash out your brush and dry it off The next step will be to produce a wet on to dry. So I'm going to pick up my green and start down at the bottom of the picture plane. And it's here that I'll put my darkest green. And then I'm going to gradate this green up into the blue. And I'm applying wet paint to a dry surface. And as I get up to the horizon line, I'm going to blend the two together and that's going to give me my blue-green color and that's my analogous color scheme, blue, blue-green, green. While you are waiting for the watercolor paper to dry, you want to get out your scissors and a, a few of your source materials and what you'll be doing is finding large, medium, and small items that you're going to cut out along the contour edge and glue down onto the surface. So I've already cut a few out, and the big idea here is to create a foreground in relationship to the horizon line, a middle ground where the figures are just a little bit smaller, and a background. And this is all glued down in relationship to the horizon line. So you can see in this example, I have the largest figure in the foreground, smaller figure in the middle ground, and the smallest figures in the background. I do have a few more examples to show you. And here is another completed project. And this has a figure in the foreground, two figures in the middle ground, and somebody on a horse in the background. Uh, here is one more example for you to take a look at. And again, these are the size relationships. If you get large, medium, and small, you're able to look at the size and establish the scale, which leads you to the correct proportions. These are all glued down according to where the horizon line is. Biggest in the foreground, a little bit smaller in the middle ground, and the smallest in the background. When the project is complete, move on to the written statement. Remember to write about what you've been doing. Uh, you want to describe the color scheme that you've used, whether it be monochromatic, analogous, or complementary. And you also want to explain and describe how you've created the illusion of depth. Some of the visual elements that we used today were size and color. One of the principles of design was scale and proportion. 
Hope this helps you to complete your writing assignment. Remember the vocabulary that you've been learning. And this is Bill Forrest, your art instructor. I'll see you back in class soon.